like to show you some palette options that you have if you want to make these a little bit easier to see. Tap here, go down to palette options, and now you can make these rows a little bit bigger if you want to by pressing large and press OK and you can see the thumbnails get a little bit bigger. This over here is your toolbar and the tools that we primarily are going to use are this one which is the selection tool. It's V on your keyboard. You don't need to press any other keys, just V. We're going to use this constantly. This one is the direct selection tool. This is A. I don't use this one very often. Uh, this is the line segment tool. I use that sometimes when I need a very straight line. Uh, this is an ellipse tool and if you press and hold on this you'll get these other shape tools. But the one that we're going to use most is this one which is the brush tool and that is paintbrush. It is a B on your keyboard. So between B for brush and V for the selection tool that is going to be the vast majority of what we use. There's also the pencil tool which is N pencil tool acts a lot like the brush tool except that it doesn't have any variable width. Another tool I use frequently is underneath this and it is this reshape tool. And the way that you get to it is anytime that you see a, one of these boxes that has a triangle on the lower right hand corner you just press and hold and then you can choose whichever one of these that you want. This is the default, so this is what it's going to look like, which is the scale tool. But if you press on it and hold, and then you drag across, you can get to this reshape tool. Also, if you like, you can pull off the, the, the little set like that. And the way you do that is you hold down. You go all the way to the end and you, and you wait until this tear off shows up and then you just let go and then you can move that around. That's helpful if you have a tool that you want to use all the time. If you want to just get rid of it, you just press that button and it just appears back where you had it to begin with. Again, these tools you can move around as well. One key that I use frequently also is I press Command-0 and that makes the image fill the available window space. If I hit command minus it lets me zoom out a bit and I can use the scroll bars to move around and then sometimes if I have to get a big picture or move something that's really wide I'll use that key. Command plus will zoom in, command minus will zoom out. If you press the Z key and then go and drag across whatever you want that will zoom in also.